Hey, Melissa Dealey here, back for day two of my series on toxins that I'm talking about throughout the month of January. So as an integrative health practitioner, I actually do not diagnose and I do not cure when I work with my clients. What I do instead is I help you discover your imbalances and your toxic load and then help guide your body back into balance, at which time it will heal itself. The body has this innate wisdom and it knows what to do. And you know that too, because your body can heal a cut finger, it can heal a broken arm. It's just that in our busy, stressed out, sleep deprived, highly toxic world we live in today, that we just get so far out of balance, living way over here, kind of balancing on the edge, that the body isn't in any state to be able to heal itself. So we have to bring the body back into balance, into an environment in which it can heal itself. And it's really interesting because it is only Western-based medicine that doesn't actually look at the importance of detoxification. Western-based medicine is very much focused on reducing pain and suffering, which nobody wants to suffer and nobody wants to be in pain. However, when we only look at the pain and suffering and we don't look at the underlying imbalances, we're not actually getting to the root cause and healing the actual problem. But when we look at Ayurvedic medicine that goes back 6,000 years, Latin American medicine, Asian medicine and culture, they all still detox to this day. But in the Western world, we forget about toxins. We don't see them. We very often don't smell them. We don't feel them inside our body until our body starts really yelling at us to do something. So we just ignore them. We have showers to wash our outer body, but we're not doing anything to wash our inner body and remove those toxins so that they're not damaging our organs. And here's the thing, I liken this to what happens with our trash cans that we put out on the street. When our trash cans are put out on the street and they're left there for too long, maybe there's a garbage strike, what happens to them? It starts to smell and rot and putrefy and attract bugs and it's gross. Actually, what happens inside our body when we do not give our body the chance to properly detoxify and get those toxins out. The average cadaver has between 9 and 20 pounds of caked feces inside their colon when they die. Disgusting, right? And all of that is highly toxic. The whole point of a bowel movement is to remove toxins and unwanted waste from our body. And so if it's not being removed because our digestive tract isn't functioning and our organs are bogged down, we're keeping that inside us. And when we have toxins stored inside us, if our liver gets too bogged down and can't actually keep removing toxins, it will store them within adipose tissue or fat in our body which is very smart because it's still keeping it out of our bloodstream and our liver, one of our liver's biggest jobs is to cleanse our blood every six minutes, mm -hmm. but that makes our adipose tissue or our fat highly toxic. Now, nobody wakes up saying, I want a disease today. I want a diagnosis of disease, but this is happening to people every day. And it's happening as a result of the environment that we create inside our body. 90 to 95% of all disease is triggered by the environment we create inside our body. Sounds scary, but at the same time, it's highly empowering because that means that you have control over the environment you create inside your body. So why not create an environment that is inhospitable to disease? An environment where your inflammation levels are at healthy levels as opposed to chronic inflammation that then triggers cells to signal to turn on disease. You, can, you have the power to undo all of that inflammation, to detox your body, get the toxins out, and set yourself up for a body that is inhospitable to disease. It's just not taught in Western medicine when we only look at pain and suffering. We also need to be asking why. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have this symptom? And I know I had to do that when years ago, suddenly my migraines got really bad and the doctor just wanted to give me more prescription drugs. But I was just asking why. If I knew why, then I could fix it and then I wouldn't need the drugs. 
and I ended up going to a naturopath and doing some uh, hormone testing and figured out my progesterone levels were really low. And when I was able to boost my progesterone levels, my migraines went away. And so that was, for me, a far preferential route than just taking drugs every time I got a migraine for the rest of my life. So asking the question why is really important, as is understanding your toxic load, understanding your imbalances. It could be imbalances in your gut. It could be imbalances in your hormones. The body always wants to be in balance. There's so many um, balance cross checks that the body wants to bring us to your pH level, your blood sugar levels, etc. So what underlying imbalances do you have that is having you living out way over here, out of balance, and you bring yourself back into balance and create a body inhospitable to disease. So detoxifying helps to rebalance hormones, improve your immune system, lower stress, allow for deeper sleep, and just getting deeper sleep helps lower stress because the more rested we are, the more resilient we are to the stresses that daily life throws at us. Um, detoxing helps us lose weight naturally because those toxins weigh something and so getting rid of them helps to lose some unwanted weight. It helps to remove digestive stress, supports healthy levels of inflammation, obviously reduces your toxic load, rejuvenates the body with life, gives you new levels of energy and less brain fog, and has you feeling so much better than when your body is burdened with toxins. And just like you don't get to see your children grow, like we don't see them grow in front of our eyes, we don't notice the slow and steady decline in how we feel. And that, but we look back, how did you feel in your 20s? And how do you feel today? Do you have the same level of energy? Can you say that you feel the exact same way? Because if you don't, you probably haven't noticed that steady decline. But think about it. Would you like to get back to the energy level you had in your 20s? Because you can. It's just understanding how to go about it. And a huge step is starting with lowering your toxic load and then discovering your imbalances. And that is what I help all of my clients with. So if you'd like to know more, feel free to book in for a 30-minute complimentary session. We can talk about your health goals, and you can do that at my website, which is yourguidedhealthjourney.com. And uh, stay with me for the rest of this month as I continue to talk about toxins and their impact on our health and um, on our lives in general. So until next time, take care and you can uh, do my quiz, which I posted on my session from two days ago on discovering your toxic load.